Hey, welcome back to Open Everyone. Uh, well, PDC, that stands for Playdate Clubhouse. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, that is the name of a new project looking to create a safe space for children to be active and build character throughout the entire year. The goal is to create a communal space for families to enjoy with an aim to open in Harlem in 2020. And joining us to tell us more, we welcome founder Enid Waite. Hello and welcome. Hello. Thank you for having me on the show today. Oh, we are excited <laughs> to have you. I know I am. I mean, I, I would have preferred to have gotten to know you uh, a couple of years ago. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, minus exactly. Minus 10 now, minus 10 now. Yeah. However, I like the play date factor of it, right? So let's just talk about that a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the, the whole concept, I think it's brilliant. Yeah. I, it's so brilliant because um, as a mom, I, I personally uh, find myself having to associate myself with certain parents. And it's not to say that I, I get along with everybody, mm -hmm. but I'm doing it just because my daughter wants a play date with her friend. Mm -hmm. And so, hence, you're creating this establishment mm -hmm. that allows people to come together and or not have to be together exactly. while the kids have their play date. Let's talk about that. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, so it's, um, it's an indoor playground and family activity center. Um, our biggest draw is going to be finally an indoor playground that's inside in Manhattan that's big enough that's not some tiny little place where you're crouching around, but a nice space that's going to actually be able to uh, accommodate kids as well as parents and be able to sit down and, you know, have a good discussion and watch the kids run around and have a good time. And in addition to that, um, the family activity part is that um, parents will be able to utilize the space. And what I mean is like, um, say for instance, if there are three parents that are in the same class that have kids that have the same birthday and they wanna get together and they wanna rent one of the rooms to actually have that you know, combined party space that's not gonna break the bank. Right. Uh, they can do that and they'll be able to bring their own food, they'll be able to bring their own activities or we can plan it and we can actually um, put together something for you. So uh, I know that the space itself is in development and yeah. I don't know how long of an undertaking this has been for you. Eight years. Eight years? <laughs> Eight years, really. Mm -hmm. um, and why have you been so determined to create this space? It's been um, kind of this project that has been ongoing between me and my friends. We all have kids that are the same age. I now have a two and a half year old. So this process is starting all over again. Uh -huh. And it's always, where are we going to go to hang out? Where are we going to go to just During the sit? cold months. During the cold months and during right, the summer. Right, right, but the point is is that during the cold months is yeah. when we, we it becomes limited. When, and during the cold <laughs> months is when it becomes very limited. And um, it's it's kind of like uh, where are we gonna go in and hang out where you know people aren't gonna be bothered by our kids like running around and, and right. just being insane or the screaming and the noise or the irritation. It's like parents want to kind of cluster together and not kind of be a bother to everyone around them. And, and, and not always have to dig into your pocket in order exactly. to accommodate them and entertain them, right? Because yeah. When you go to the playground, right? Mm -hmm. um, I, I know because I'm in the same boat, right? Mm -hmm. the, the playground is like the hangout for the parents and mm -hmm. the kids, right? And so it's kind of like, okay, we get a break and then we get to kind of convene ourselves exactly. and, and have our own form, our own park community. And mm -hmm. so it sounds like you're doing the same thing with but it indoor, indoor right? Mm -hmm. And so I also understand that you have additional programming that you may be implementing. Yes, so um, that's the uh, parent participate. It's almost kind of like the learning annex um, for parents. Uh, our good friend, Mr. Pagan, who was just on just now, uh, he's a great example of something that I would love to have in the space. So instead of having these long classes that are lasting for three and four months, let's have two and three classes where he could come in and actually um, do a, a short term class on um, a comic book drawing right. and uh, talk to the kids about like if you have aspirations let's do some character development in the classroom like that would be the perfect option and parents would just have to pay a limited amount and smaller chunk right. of something that they're more interested in right. so then it becomes about parent demand and what they want and what they're actually trying to get their kid to learn other than what's just being offered out there. So it could be uh, uh, like a mommy and me or daddy and me yes. type of experience. Uh, same thing, <clears throat> uh, gift making. Uh, I just met this wonderful craftsman who does these um, swirly uh, metal uh, flowers. 
And I was like, what a great idea to actually come in and have the parents sit with their kid and we're gonna make a bouquet for grandma. And that's, that's the class. We're gonna sit, we're gonna make a bouquet for grandma and, and we created a gift for her that's lovely. So it's kind of like this interaction that I think parents are looking for just this chunk, this, this section of, of demand where it's like they're not getting it from other places. It's kind of... It's, right, so you could step outside organic. of the house. You could step mm -hmm. out of the house and still be productive. Yes. Right? It doesn't, it's like you don't only have to do arts and crafts connect in the winter at home. Connect with your child. Right, and connect with other parents mm -hmm. as well because it is. It's its own community. Now, before we go, where are you along in this whole opening process? Um, I'm at the... I'm at the lease <laughs> negotiation right now for a fantastic space. Um, I'm just, I can't. Okay, you can't divulge. I can't uh, the divulge details. just it's okay. yet. It's but okay. It's, it's okay. I just, I want our, there. Right, I want our viewers to know that you're yeah. still in, in need of some assistance and yes. should somebody be watching and are interested and or uh, have some type of affiliation with this type of uh, development that maybe they can uh, join in your and be by your side and join yes. forces. You know. Right now we have a campaign running on Indiegogo, and we're looking for if you can just donate like any little bit, $5, $10. We do have pre-sales where you can actually um, buy a one-day pass or you can buy a, um, a membership for four months at a discounted price. And you know, what this does is it helps me as a business owner. Um, one of the biggest problems of access is actually real estate and how much it costs to get into the game. Right. And so this is going to help me reduce my loans so that I can actually function for those first few years yes. right. when you really, really need the assistance. Right. That's, that's the mm -hmm. make or break system. Yes. Yep, that's, the, that's the make or break time anyway. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so you. much for being here. Mm -hmm. And thank you for the work that you're doing for the next generation. It's important. And uh, you guys, once again, to assist Enid and or to learn more about her, visit uh, Enid Waite, that is visit PDC Playhouse, um, I'm sorry, Playdate Club. Clubhouse website, which is clubhouse, uh, excuse me, playdateclubhouse.com. Got it. All right, stay tuned because Bobby C's Weekly Sports Roundup is coming up next.